pork belly, so tender, so unctuous, so delicious, you're gonna wanna slap someone, but don't. Because then you're just gonna get in trouble and that's gonna suck. I'm a fan of pork belly. There's a couple ways to do it. This is a, 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 I don't even know what I'm gonna say. What got, is it? I got no words there. Jeez, you just start a sentence about knowing uh, where it's gonna finish? There's a version that gives you the crispy skin on top. This is not that, that's coming up. We're gonna make tacos with that and it's gonna blow your mind. This one is slowly cooked for about an hour and a half. It's an Asian inspired delicious thing that we're gonna put on ginger green onion rice. This speaks to the heart of all the Asian foods that I adore, love, and cannot get enough of. And here's our pork belly. We're gonna start right here. Pork belly. It looks like bacon because this is where bacon comes from, but pork belly like this is uncured and unsmoked. But what makes it really special is that layer of fat right there. So we're gonna cut this into bite-sized pieces to start, and then we'll uh, brown it and deal with it that way. So I want them in, uh, what is this, an inch, roughly? Yes. Anybody? Yeah. So you want, you want a good knife because you're cutting through this. This is the skin. Sorry if people have issues with this, but. So let's just do this. Let's just cut and I'm telling you, this eight inch Sam the Cooking Guy chef's knife is a dream when it comes to cutting through pork belly. Just saying. Got a lot of wind out here today. Yeah, we do. And when you've got it like this, we're gonna now cut this way. So you want chunks like that, okay? Just like that. You're, you're pretty much going for bite size. If it's a little bigger, that's okay. They're gonna shrink down a bit. But give yourself bite sized pieces because that is how we're gonna eat them. Well, of course, that was a, almost a stupid comment, I think. Everything is bite sizable at some point once you get eating, right? Take your time. I find I cut myself when I'm rushing. So there is no emergency here. It's gotta cook for an hour and a half. Just start a little bit ahead of time and then you'll be ready when you wanna be ready. And last. Okay. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, there's a little word on the screen that says subscribe. Just hit that. And then you'll be a member of the club. If you really wanna be a member of the club, hit the notification bell, because then that lets you know when we post new episodes. Which yes, it's always Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but not always at the exact same time, depending on how much Max and Chance have fought over the editing process. Me, I stay out of it. Uh, okay, let's uh, get this browned up, shall we? All right, so lid comes off, we'll get the pot warm, and yes, there's a lot of fat in the uh, pork belly. I just like to help the sear. So I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in, a few drops, and then about half the pork. It's all gonna cook in here eventually, but for searing, I do about half at a time. Remember we did some short ribs the other day, we browned them first. That initial color, the sear on the outside adds to flavor, so we wanna do that. So leave it in, don't move it around much yet. And by the way, this pork in this beautiful pot is gonna cook perfectly. Lipa, don't look. Don't move it yet, he says, and then he moves it. I can't help myself, but this is what we're looking for, this kind of color. It's just all in the interest of building flavor, folks. You can see, if I threw all the pork in at once, we wouldn't all be cooking the right way. We wouldn't be getting this golden beautifulness. Take your time, give it a stir. When you're comfortable where it is, take it out and put the other batch in. And why didn't you use a bigger pan to put all the pork belly in at once? Why didn't I use a bigger pot? Because if it's too big, yes, I could cook it all at once, but then I want it to live in this braising liquid while it's cooking. I want it to be mostly covered. Mostly. And if it's spread out like this, it'd just be a little amount of the stuff in the bottom. You don't trust me. Do you not trust me? Trust me, sonny boy. Just trust your father. It certainly smells good, I'll tell you that much. I love the smell of cooking belly in the morning. And when it looks beautiful like this, let's uh, put it on a plate and swap it out for the rest of the pork. All right, we'll drop in the rest and just do the same thing with it. All right, so in the interest of time, I'm gonna use my torch. I mean, why not, right? It's the color that we're going for. It's just gonna help us along a little bit. 
Apparently Max has got a doctor's appointment here. He certainly doesn't have a haircut appointment. Little color, little turn. I feel like we're getting there much faster. I tell you, these little torches are very handy. You just buy this head, and then you can get these canisters almost anywhere. And when you're cool with this batch, and I'm now cool with this batch, let's add the rest back in with any juice. Oops, my bad. In. And now we'll add a couple aromatics in the form of a couple of big cloves of garlic minced and about an inch of ginger finely minced. Is that, is that annoying and loud? Give it a little stir. And you know what's happening next. We wait till it gets super fragrant. Now we add our liquids. Quarter cup of soy sauce. Quarter cup of chicken broth. Quarter cup of water. Couple tablespoons of cooking sherry. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. We mix. And when it comes to a beautiful little boil like that, one more little stir. Not because you have to, just because you want to. Everybody gets sort of just coated a bit. And on goes the lid. And that's it. Turn it down to a simmer. Rice time. Uh, we're going to make ginger green onion rice. It's going to be fabulous. We're using a rice cooker. I've had this kid, uh, I, I don't, 20 years maybe. It's working great. It's a very easy way to make rice. You put rice in, you put water in, you push the button, you go away. And if you come back in two hours, it's perfect. If you come back in eight hours, still perfect. Open the lid, take out the vessel, bowl, put some rice in. I'll start with, oh, I don't know, about a, a cup and a half of rice or something in my thing. And now we want to rinse this. You don't want just to put water in and start it cooking. You want to get the extra starch off this. So fill it up with a little bit of water. Do this and then stop. And you can see the water's pretty clear right now when all those bubbles go away, right? But as you squeeze the rice, it starts to get milkier and milkier. And that's what you want off. You want that extra starch off. I know you don't want it, but I just don't even know why. Don't ask silly questions. Everybody knows why you don't want the starch. Oh, you don't know. Because it makes it clumpy. There you go. I think. Does it sound good? Starchy. Who wants starchy rice? It's already a starch. You want less starch. Okay, so when you got a good squoosh around and it's there, get out the water like this. Let it come out. Try not to lose the rice. And now when using a rice cooker, you come to the part where we measure the water exactly. And it's a fun method. And it goes like this. You put water in. Oops. Like this. Now, get the, get the rice flat at the bottom, and when you put your finger in and you touch the top of the rice, you want the water to come up to that first knuckle, so there's clearly not enough water in there yet. So, give it a little more. Do this, give it a swirl so it flattens out, palms down, finger goes in. Yep, yep, perfect. Great. So what we're going to do to this to make it the way we want it, we're going to add oh, a tablespoon and a half of chopped ginger and it will look like that. And then we'll quickly chop up some green onion to go in along with it. Just little pieces like this. Uh-oh. We're losing a few. And I'll give just one more cut to make them a little smaller. Beautiful. Now this will go in. Give it one stir into our rice cooker, see ya, close the lid and push start. There we go. Rice is cooking, the pork is cooking. We're gonna stir the pork every 20 minutes or so, let it go for about an hour and a half, uh, close to that, and then take the lid off, let it evaporate, thicken up, and oh boy, we'll be eating large, like hugely large, very, most largest we've ever eaten Okay, maybe not, but it's going to be great. It's been about an hour. We've got about uh, 30 minutes more to go, but let's take a look at how our pork belly bites are doing. 
and voila. Look at how it's, oh, the smell. Color, amazing. Hold for the gardeners. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, it's not there yet. We're gonna give it another 15, 20 minutes, and then we're almost at the finish line. It's been an hour and a half. We've stirred every 20 minutes or so. This is now, well, shall we have a look? Looking beautiful, I might add. Oh, I can just feel how soft and squishy these beautiful little bites are gonna be. But see, there's still a little liquid in here, so I'm gonna keep the lid off now, put it back on the heat, give it another two or three minutes, let that liquid evaporate, and then it's happening. All right, we're here, and here's our rice. Oh, you open the lid, and the immediate aroma from the ginger and the green onion is exquisite. Oh, gosh. Okay, one more. Okay, not just beautiful, but so aromatic. Next, the belly, and that. Oh, gosh, it's gonna look like this. Look at little pillows of unctuousness. Just a tiny bit more, shall we? And to finish it off, just two things. One, some sesame seeds that I'm in love with. And two, you knew it, a little green onion. One right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is some crazy, delicious, gonna be Hawaiian soy braised pork belly. Yum! Smoke them if you got them. I mean, take pictures. And, oh, what do I do? I want this, this little pillowy, delicious bite. With some rice, of course, like that. That's what I want. That is my bite. Fine, I added one more little piece, just because I had to. Mm. Melt in your mouth delicious. It's not too salty, it's not too sweet. It's got the right amount of fat. Okay, extra facts, it's pork belly. But the rice underneath too is just bringing up all kinds of deliciousness. You see that? You make this, you feel like you're in the islands. Your feet up, brada. You're watching the waves go by. You're relaxing. Life is good. Yeah? Yeah, brada. <laughs> yeah, brada. All right. Make it. <sighs> Broken record. I say it every time. Make it. Make it. Make it. But you should. We're trying to make your food life better. Right, Chance? Right. And the only ours, way it's getting... Sorry? So, no, I was going to say, because ours is already amazing. Ours is already amazing. Thank you. The only way it's going to get better if you start eating different things, not the same thing all the time. Let's say you make the best steak in the world. Could you have it every day? No, you get sick of it. Start doing this stuff. Get out of your comfort zone, Sparky. Bust out some pork belly. It's, it's not expensive, even. And when it's this good, holy ass.